and welcome back. This is Bellers Scuba with an episode of Let's Play StarCraft 2. I'm joined as always by Jim Reyna. Time for a bold, unstoppable plan. You have said that before. I bet we have something to say to Hansen. I see we have a new acquisition. Is it a Protoss device? That's right. But I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. It's a Kaderan Ehan crystal. It's a memory storage device. It lets you experience what other people have seen or done. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yet you don't fear it at all. You're a fascinating man, Jim Rayner. You know more about the Protoss and the Zerg than any of the experts I've read about. That's because I spent my life fighting them. You don't have anything new to say? I bet you don't have anything new to say. But we need to check out the artifacts, because now we have three of them. Holding these artifacts is making me nervous. Can you tell me any more about them? It's interesting. The one from Zill is different than the others. However, I think all of them once constituted a single device. You mean they make something bigger? It would seem so. It's just a theory, but there's an attraction between the artifacts we've collected. A kind of harmonic resonance. Given the points of contiguous translinear alignment, I think they'd be drawn together like magnets under the right field adjustment. Okay. Well, don't adjust anything just yet, Doc. I like them aligned just the way they are. Nice. We will be going to the crystal eventually, but... Wait. That looks kind of new. That is new. The Protoss crystal continues to grow. I no longer think it is drawing power from this ship. It's getting pure energy from that sphere above it, which presents a new worry. What's it doing with all that power? Is it going to release it explosively? I have to keep Swan away from this sample. He will definitely shoot it out the airlock with me strapped to it. I tried scraping smaller samples, but all my tools broke. Luckily, I found some cast-off chips floating in the tank. wonder how they came off. In any case, the ships revealed more of the matrix. It's keeping the energy there in a vortex. How does it move the energy so fast? It may be the fabled Protoss warp technology. For all its complexity, the matrix is as solid as the strongest structure. I wonder if I could apply these dynamics to our own structures. Make a note. I'm learning so much from this crystal, I, but I can't help feeling as if it's learning from me, if that makes sense. Late. Tired. Sleep now. Is there something new here? It looks pretty much the same. No, this is this is the same that we've seen before. We do need to check out the research console, uh, because I do believe we do have, yes, new Protoss research. We can either get the orbital depots, right? You know just plant a little beacon and then the they beam down instantly or we can get more gas so supply depots or gas now I know some of you are saying go for the supply depots you've been forgetting them the whole game screw you I'm going for the gas and then we need to head let's go to the cantina this is going to be a, a shorter episode so we might as well get all these cutscenes out of the way right now so now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? Well, they got their hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. Um, I believe we do have new mercenaries. Um, I won't be purchasing anything this time, but yes, we do have siege breakers. 33% health and 66% damage. These guys are awesome. And you, you only get two of them, but still. Siege Breakers. Bet Tosh has something to say, though. Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Protoss. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. So Tosh is by far the weirdest character right now, but we need to check out the news. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion. The battle so far. 
The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Yes, the Zerg watch everything. Well, Kerrigan could technically understand it. Whatever. Now I'm overthinking things. Let's go to the armory. See if there's anything cool in here. Swan has something he wants to say. We're rocking some serious heavy metal now that we got siege tanks. Yes, sir. The comforting thunder of the big guns. Well, comforting when they're on our side. Yeah, these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move. And reinforced armor. So long as they still got the range in siege mode, the rest is just gravy. Between siege tanks and bunkers, we can hold the line against just about anything. He's trying to tell us to turtle as much as we can. Let's check out this siege tank. I must admit, it looks awesome. How awesome is that? Armed with twin 90mm cannons, the Crucio is an expensive upgrade to the original Arclight siege tank. The 180mm siege mode shock cannon scatters superheated tungsten in a 50% larger area. Dominion infantry soldiers are universally convinced that Crucio operators inflict more damage on friendly forces than on the enemy. Consequently, Crucio operators stick together to earn shore leave. Wendell Slovin Spinelli, Crucio operator, installed a sophisticated surround sound system into his ride. Sergeant Slovens was subsequently cut off and surrounded when he failed to heal the order to fall back. Okay, I don't know what that has anything to do with anything, but yeah, that's their little way of telling you, hey, siege tanks, they'll damage your own stuff. We should be able to upgrade these siege tanks. Once again, I'm not going to do that now. I'll wait until we actually get to, to do this. But, plus 40 damage to their main target. That's in Siege and out of Siege. That's insane. Plus 40 damage. And then Shot Cannon does 50... Or, uh, sorry, 75% less damage to friendly units. That is also incredibly valuable. I don't think there's anything else new here. No, that is it. So let's head to the bridge, and we can talk to Horner, who is the only one here now. You ain't gonna believe this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh, how much did you have to drink tonight, sir? He was here, Matt, and he was hurt. On the run from something. Where is he now, sir? I don't know, but he ain't on the ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal, and he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen. Okay, now that we are fully done, let's head back to the laboratory. We've got a Protoss mission ahead of us. Raynor, the Hounds of the Void are closing in. I impart my memory, my very essence, into this Eon crystal, so that you will see what I have seen, and that the future may yet have hope. Whispers of Doom. We need to investigate Zelnaya Shrines on Ulan. Let's head there. There's actually three Protoss and three Zerg research in this mission. Let's let's see what I can do here. Zeratul. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Friend Raynor, long has it been since we stood together against the swarm. Since then, I have wandered the void in solitude, seeking an ancient prophecy rumored to foretell the return of the Zelnaga. My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan. Where I discovered fragments of the prophecy, yet I was not the first to find them. 
It falls to you now, old friend, to relive my memories and believe. So yes, we are ta we are actually going to be the Protoss. Ooh, we've got an actual a whole video for this thing. I'm gonna be quiet again. The Zerg Swarm came, as was foretold. And the Protoss, firstborn of the gods, rose to fight them. Now, the Zemnaga that forged us all are returning. But do they come to save? Or to destroy? this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it. Please. Our Petty conflicts mean nothing now. A storm is coming that cannot be stopped. Fitting that we should face oblivion together. Never. I don't know about you guys, but I love that cutscene. That's my favorite cutscene, at least so far. So far. And I'm not even Protoss or Zerg, and that, I'll admit that was awesome. I'm a Terran player, and I'm just like, oh, that thing was awesome. So yes, on the other side of this, Whispers of Doom. Okay, let's do this. Now, you can't, um, obviously, y your Terran upgrades don't apply here. I will erase the demon. 
like at all. But Zeratul is awesome, and he doesn't really need the upgrade. The Get that thing. Divided into fragments, each kept at separate shrines. I must gather them and depart this world quickly. This chasm is vast. It is fortunate that I can phase through the shadows to the other side. And the roach runs off. Yeah, everything burrows. It's very mean. But we can keep blinking to get across these little chasms. And then we can take on these rocks. Go! Slice up them rocks, which somehow destroys them. Nicely done. Uh, this one takes a lot longer than I remember. My to be honest, I actually did this already. Spore crawlers can detect my presence. I should stun them with my void prism. Calling. And then take out the spore crawler. That way, once it's gone, they can't see us. And now we're free to take them on again. He is permanently cloaked. He's what's known as a dark templar in this game. And he's awesome. If you use him right. Last time I did not. But the reason that I have to do this over again is because I did not get the hatcheries. That's that's my main problem. Okay. So don't be scared of the ultralisk. Wait for it to go back the other way. And then put the void prison onto the, sp the spore crawler. This is a detector. Take it out. And then go for the ultralisk. Because it scares me. Because it's huge! But then he burrows, so whatever. Nothing I can do about that. Die, creep tumors! I hate you! Okay, let's keep going. Yes, they can, um, they can detect over the cosmos. I don't know why this was, like, gonna be news, but whatever. That spore crawler can detect me from across the chasm. It must be destroyed. So, you void prison it. Then you blink across, and then you destroy it. It's, I mean, so far, so good. It's it's later on that we start getting some of the bigger puzzles, I guess. This is the closest thing to a puzzler in, in StarCraft 2, I think. This mission here. That overseer can see through my cloak. I'd best stun it with my void prison before crossing this chasm. Alright, so void prison. Then blink over. Take out the Hydralisks. He cannot attack air, so the Overseer may live. But now we've made it to the Zelnaga Shrine. One of three. We get Protoss Research. Nice. The first fragment of the prophecy. Soon all will be made clear. Not really, if I'm being honest. Why not surrender yourself to oblivion, Zeratul? Wouldn't it be better to end your struggle now than lose the final agonizing moments of your species? The foreboding prophecy weighs heavily on my heart. I'd best reach the remaining shrines before she regains yours. So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. The tapes. No. Go stalkers! Woo stalkers! Which one if you use low on? All right, you need to blink. There we go for Shakuras. Greetings, exalted one. We are here in the service of High Templar Karas. He is nearby. Your presence is most welcome. Let us keep moving. The stalkers can blink too. Awesome. I permit us to destroy their defenses before we proceed. Basically, what we need to do here is here's the overseer. We need to void prison it, take it out with the stalkers, and then the hydras won't be able to kill us at all. Go, stalkers! Stalkers kick ass! Kill the hydras! They can no longer see the high ground! Just get down there. Okay, now you all can shoot. There we go. It's important that everybody gets to shoot. Okay. 
Let's keep going. Ah, uh, this one. Look how far away that fucking thing is. Okay. You require my skills. I serve Just gonna lure one over, void prison it, the voice of the and then destroy it. Uh, well, at least I'm gonna do that with the first one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that with the Very second well. one. No. Ah. Right, void prison. No. No. Flink back out of there. Okay. So nobody died. That's the good sign. The bad sign is that it actually did actual damage to my stalker. Dick. Okay, then I'm gonna... I was gonna say I'm gonna void prison this thing, but... Cooldown was still active. Go for it now. Now we can take free reign. They have no more attackers. Just the... The, the spore crawler, which... Honestly, you can do... Whatever you want. I don't have any areas for you to hit. So, we're good. And that's the next puzzle down. That patrol of brood lords must be dealt with cautiously, or we will be torn asunder. We are one. So you learn one out. Uh, I didn't actually mean to do it that early, but I learned one out, and hopefully stalkers can take out just in time. Nice. Uh, there's another Broodlord, that's right. So, hmm, how are we gonna handle this? I think Come what I'm gonna do first... Alright, looks like everybody has full shields again, that's good. Alright, you're my number one, you're my number two, you guys all together are my number three. There we go. Now I have proper hotkeys. Yeah, go away. You require my skills. You guys go up here. But I get out of Zare Tool's way as he no, 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 no. We have to wait for this brood lord to get out of the way before we can void prison and move out to try to take on this overseer. So, brood lord, go away. You come back, and then we can do this. Alright. All the way back. Go! Because the last thing I wanna do. is try to take on the brood lord and the spine crawler at the same time so once again it's just patience 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 that's the g name of the game on this map it, th this is the yeah like i said it's a puzzler N no take this out no get out of there what the hell are you doing okay Stalker lived. That's the that's the good sign. All right, wait for him to get. Go for it. Take him out. This guy is barely alive, but he has not died. That's the good sign. I could just wait here and wait for his shields to come back, but I'm not in the mood to wait. If he dies, he dies. I think there's an achievement if you keep four of them alive, but they give you a few more later on. Damn surge. Ah, damn, he's probably not gonna make it. Okay. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Alright, no, void prison that. Get the ultralisk. How's Zeratul doing? He's doing pretty good. Ah, they did get that stalker. Flink out of the way. So I did lose one stalker, but they gave me two more, so I'm still positive here. Over here. Blink up. Alright, where did I put you as number two and number three? Okay. Alright, this one. The Queen of Blades built hatcheries here. She seeks to subvert this sacred world. I shall put an end to that plan. As you can tell, I'm probably not a big fan of this one either. So we've got all these overseers. We've got a brood lord, and we've got two ultralists. We've got four spine crawlers all around this one hatchery. Okay. 
Well, it says Broodlord goes back to where it came from because nobody likes you, you stupid. Okay. Come like here ish. Are you gonna. Uh, you guys moved at the same, same fucking time? Alright. I'm gonna try to get that overseer right around here. Alright. No, 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 What the hell are you doing, stalker? Alright, void it, void it! Attack it! Just in time? No, but, oh, he did not get one off. That's the important thing. Okay, this guy's getting his shields back. <sighs> My burdens weigh heavily. Okay. Uh, just out of range of the spine crawler still. Okay, right, let's go to the other side. You address me? Well, they can't see me. So I will erase the demons of the past. And then. Get the overseer. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Just in time. So now they have no detectors! Go in there and destroy all that shit. Very tool. Get that one. Then get that one, and then that one. And then once he's done, then the stalkers can come in, and they won't get any damage done to them. Sweet! It's very tactical. Very, very tactical indeed. Alright. Blink down here, start taking out the hatchery. How fast is Blink on these guys? Haha! <laughs> what you gonna do now, broodlings? Huh? Alright, you guys go ahead and take those out. Well, all the broodlings die. Oh, he's one-shotting this larva? No way! All Nothing one-shots larva. This tool is awesome. Okay, now where? Yeah, you go ahead and help. Everybody down here. Except for you. You go here. So we still got five stalkers. The second fragment of the prophecy. My task is nearly complete. I do believe this would give uh, Zeratul a full heal. Do these guys get a full heal? They do! So, yes, just try to keep them alive until you get to the next Your spot. Hope is an illusion. There doesn't look like there's a way I can go this. So easily read my mind, Kerrigan. You'll see that I'll never give up so long as hope remains. Careful now. Kerrigan has set guards to bar our way. It could be a trap. Yes, it could be. You should take them out carefully, one at a time, or risk being overwhelmed. So, yes, like you said, one at a time. Another puzzle. What we're going to do first is wait for this broodlord to go away, and then we're going to send a stalker out, try to get one of the Munilisks, void prison it, and then destroy it without taking any damage. That's the plan. I, I guarantee nothing. Damn it! A fucking broodlord came out and apparently got the stalker before the mutalist even cared that it was there. Okay, so... <sighs> I mean, it goes so slow. I think that's my only criticism of this level. It's a fun little puzzler, but, I mean, it's just so many of these damn puzzles. Is it really necessary, you know what I mean? Alright. You have full shields, you come out next. Really? That's not enough for you to... It's enough for you to come out, but not enough for you to attack. What the hell, Ultralisk? Go away. Oh, I, I only want to take you on one at a time, like he said. 
Get out of there, Void Prison. What are you gonna do now, huh? Down he goes. You have full shield. I don't know if you're the one that I was doing before. Void Prison. Oh, you're kidding. Void Prison. Keep attacking it. Come on, come on. Got it. Sweet. Okay. You address me. State thy bidding. You come out here. We move unseen. Really? This isn't. It. That's not close enough for you. Like seriously? Fine. You guys keep going. Okay. My burdens weigh they have no more detectors, so I'm going to take out these spine crawlers and the creep tumor. You guys go there up here. Oops. No, you keep attacking. Got my hotkeys for a second there. Alright, you guys come down. Void prison that. Down one goes, in comes the next one. Not even close to taking out the full shields. And there, next puzzle done! Just my trying to make sure I don't miss anything here because that was my problem the last time. Oh, fuck the banelings. Stalkers, take them out from a distance. Fuck the banelings. Fuck them so fucking hard. Okay. Pretty much you want to blink out your way of victory here. And blink over here. No, 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 you, you attack nobody. You don't do shit. You hear me? And blink back. Go, stalkers. Look how much damage that almost did. That almost destroyed him. Okay, you guys go over here. I don't think there's anything up there. Oh, the Banelings, oh man. Fuck the Banelings. Hate Banelings. They explode all over the fucking place. They're dicks like that. Um, is there a way down here? I think this is... Yes! Okay. This is what I forgot last time. This part right here. What the hell are you doing? Oh, they only have they only have this to attack. Fine. So that's destroyed. And then the stalkers can move in. That is the easiest puzzle oh. Void prison. Ah crap. Get out of there. Okay. Apparently they brought all they brought Ultra List because they weren't stupid. Okay, so that's two hatcheries down. If one of you die, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Blink out of there. Is there anything more up here? You address me. Any way to blink? Anything like that out of here? Because. I, there's one more hatchery that we need to get. I don't know if I remember where it was. I remembered this, like, later on. Too late for me to come back and get it, but I remembered it. We must not his I will be redeemed. Um, what, what's going on here? Okay, now destroy him! Uh, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. And get him. Ah, damn it. Banelings don't cause... <sighs> they don't cause friendly fire. I think that's bullshit, to be honest with you. Every, th every other... Every other race has friendly fire. You know what I mean? But Banelings, for some odd reason... No, 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 seriously, get them. 
Get him, get him, get him! How many can I get? Oh, get out of there, get out of there! Uh, I've never been able to get, like, most of them. Okay. So I believe what I need to do here is I think the stalkers if I avoid prison that I think right and then slowly take out that one can't move right now because these guys are attacking now he can move Okay, stalkers, you hang out here and let Zeratul do all the fucking work once again. Go, go, go! And then take this out. Yes, he is. Okay, so I am missing one hatchery. Where is this hatchery? Because it, it's I'm supposed to get it before I meet Karis, I believe. My burdens weigh. Hold on while I look for it. No, I think I think I actually have to y ignore the story missions for a little bit. I think that's the plan. Okay, so we will find that third hatchery, though. We definitely will. I am High Templar Karas. My force tracked the Queen of Blades to this world, yet we know not what she seeks. Kerrigan and I were both drawn here to uncover an ancient prophecy. With your aid, I pray we can discover it before her. It is an honor, Great One. Lead on. Because I know there is another stopping point, so I'll make sure to do that. Okay, so... I guess they give me one more stalker, because why wouldn't they give me one more stalker? Go, High Templar! Holy crap, that's a lot of Zerglings! Looks like stalkers are handling it, though. No problem, looks like they also got a full heal. Um, I can try. Ah, crap. Void prison, one of them. Go! Get him! These Nidus worms must be destroyed, or the Zerg reinforcements will overwhelm us. Really? Still not cool down? Okay, get that. This is the only hint they give you. Um, I, I put my stalkers up here. If I didn't, they would have told me to. That's the only... It's the only hint you get as to where this third hatchery is, to be honest with you. Alright, so all, all you guys here... Are you guys ready for this? this? I mean, this is a huge dick move. I remember this now. I, I got this before. Don't go and get... The, the glowy thing right over here. Blink over here! Aw, oh, one guy didn't make it. Ah, oh, Blink is pretty fast though. And now he can. Okay. But I have to wait for Blink again. Damn it. How's your Blink? Okay. Everybody over here. Everybody in the pool. What kind of defenses do we have here? Uh, get, get out of there. Okay. Oh, okay. So avoid prison that. Damn it. My allegiance.
so he survived with four shields right now. S I, d I just need to survive this, to be honest with you. You get a full heal after this, I believe. Okay, so let's Void Prison that again, now that they're not making roaches. And now all you guys can come in and attack. And then, once this is all done, then I got all my research. If you guys die to fucking bird things, I, I swear to God. Alright, you guys get out of there. Let him finish that off. Because I love watching broodlings that don't know what to do. All of Harrigan's hatcheries are destroyed. There is yet hope for this world. Sweet! We're done here. Let's move on. This guy... He he, he's not my best stalker right now. What the hell? Blink. Can I not blink that way? Are you kidding me? Okay, blink down here. You suck. Ah, this is why I don't like too large groups of, of stalkers. I am not good with the blink micro. Never have been. Probably never will be. Okay, now that we're back. Zeratul needs to go get the third research. Let's go ahead and do that now. I bet there's a cutscene for this one. Oh yeah, there is. The final piece of the prophecy. It speaks of one who shall break the cycle of the gods. Most ominous. But if the Queen of Blades seeks this prophecy, we must keep it from her. The rest is obscured. What? You might peel away the prophecy's layers, Zeratul, but you cannot outrun the doom that awaits us all. We cannot prevail against so many. I will stand against the Queen of Blades while you escape with the fragments. I will not abandon you. The prophecy is more important than either of us. Reveal its secrets, Seratul. The future rests on it. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, brother. And now, it's time to I cheese it. To the void just, before the Zerg just go. And the prophecy is lost. Just, just go. Run, run. I... Don't, don't worry about what's going on. And just run. Your allies are in battle. Run. Blink past the rocks. Don't try to destroy them. Just run. Get to the void seeker and ah, crap, blink. I will not let my brother's sacrifice be in vain. Blink, void prison. Run, just go. You can go. You can make it. Go, 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 go. Sweet, we did it. I cannot decipher the fragments on my own. Yet I know who might interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe will burn. So that's the mission. Man. Okay, so five surviving stalkers, zero life damage taken on Zeratul. Uh, you're only supposed to live with three or more stalkers, apparently, and no life damage. So I, I would have gotten all the achievements. This is a much longer mission than I remembered. That's why I did all the, the cutscenes this time. Oh man, that one, that one 
took a while because of the puzzles, though. I think that's the main problem right there. But we got three Zerg research, three Protoss research. After this zoning loading screen, I'll talk to you some more. All right, back in the Hyperion lab. Do we have another cutscene? No. No, we can only have one epic cutscene per level. And you can see we're, we got new research because of our Zerg research in that one. You got anything to say, dude? This old crate needs an overhaul. Probably. But that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play StarCraft 2. I almost forgot what game I was playing. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.